Hey guys, welcome to another journal flip through. Uh, this one is going up in my Etsy shop today, um, available for purchase. And so I just wanted to give you guys a better look of what it looks like inside and all around and just talk a little bit about what I've done with the book. So this one is a little bit bigger than what I normally make just because I wanted to give some extra like room for um, just paper and things to like stick in and out of it so the pages don't entirely meet like the very end. So I think this is a total of six and a half inches or something. Um, I have to double check. I'll put the measurements and everything in um, the description and obviously in my Etsy shop where the listing is um, for you guys to see. So but anyways, this is what it looks like. I went for blue tones, blues and yellows and browns. Kind of reminds me of a uh, rainy summer day. Um, and this is just vintage fabric for the front and back and some lace and some doilies and yeah so let's get into it here's the front page um i left this blank and i thought whoever got it maybe would want to make their own like library card pocket or you can really do whatever you want to it but i like giving um whoever free reign to do whatever they want with the journal so i also have an ephemera included in um, all the pockets of course you can use it if you want for the journal or you can totally use it for something else but they're also just in here to like let you know what is a pocket and what isn't because there's some sewing some pockets some decorations you know all the good stuff so here we go i'm obsessed with making like these photo holders in the middle of the signature i think it's so cute in the way you can display like photos or ephemera or whatever it just looks really nice like this so that's a, a little bit of a trend in this <laughs> journal. Well, here are some more Project Life cards. They're all double-sided, but they make perfect like <clears throat> uh, backs for like photos or something, or just like you can really just stable this in like this. Like they're also really cute. It's a mixture of um, tea dyed paper, music paper, and scrapbooking paper. <clears throat> and I think construction paper too, actually, like kids construction paper and vintage um, children's book pages. Um, in the, a lot of the uh, scrapbook paper in here is October afternoon, like this one. They have a lot of nice, pretty patterns. Here's an envelope in the middle of this signature. And I like how it has the, the lacy lift up, whatever this is, flap, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, and it blends in really, really nice as a page, like, looks exactly like the book page, so. Here's another one of those like photo displayers. This one, I wasn't sure what to do. I think I'm gonna leave it open like this so I can, um, or so whoever gets this can decide to either glue it or staple it or washi tape it together if they want to make it a photo pocket. Um, but I'm gonna leave that up to the buyer because I just wasn't sure. Because I know this is in the way. Um, can't do anything about that though. But I also just sewed the edges just just in case um, they whoever buys this wants to leave it like that. This is also from a vintage book. I thought this was a really cute black and white picture of a swan. Oh, another thing I've been loving is these. They're like the flashcards, but they're such a good weight and you can like, you can put pictures on them or um, 
don't know, you can really do whatever you want with them, but they're so cute. I love them. And this page is a photo pocket. It is top loading. I'll just show you quickly with this um, how you can put a picture in here. You could also even just put this itself in here and just glue a picture on here and then have this kind of peeking out the top or whatever you want. Totally up to you. extra journaling space and we are approaching the end of the book and that's that that's the back so I hope you guys like it um, just check the description below for all the details and the link to my Etsy shop should be there as well um, I really hope you guys like it and thank you so much for watching and um, yeah I hope you have a great day